Navigating a timeline to Vintry Resolve can be frustrating, especially if the timeline is very busy and packed with video footage. So in this video, we're gonna look at three things we can do that can make this a bit easier for us. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is Keyboard Shortcut Shift Z. And what it does essentially allows you to zoom out to a point where you can see all the video clips that are in the timeline. So it provides a very good, very clean, high level view of your entire timeline. And the best thing about Shift Z is that let's say you wanna zoom back in again, uh, all you need to do is just to move your playhead to, uh, to a point in the timeline where you want to uh, zoom in and then hit Shift Z again. As you can see, now it will zoom back in uh, based on the latest zoom setting that you have set up. And uh, if we go ahead and right now hit Shift Z again, uh, you will see that now it's zoomed back out and then we move our playhead around uh, to a different place and then hit Shift Z again, it will zoom back in. So it hits two birds with one stone. It's a very powerful tool that will definitely make it much easier for you to navigate timeline in DaVinci Resolve. The next thing I wanna talk about is markers in DaVinci Resolve. Think of markers as uh, bookmarks. Uh, once you have a setup in your timeline, you have now the ability to go to that particular point in your timeline very easily at any time in the future. So as you can see now, once we have the marker set up, you can easily get to that particular point in your timeline, either using the preview screen uh, by hitting, uh, by clicking on uh, that particular marker, uh, or you can do so using uh, a keyboard shortcut, the shift up and down key. Uh, what it will allow you to do is to shift sequentially through uh, all your markers and allow you to get to that particular point in the timeline uh, instantly. So. That's one of the be biggest benefits of having markers in your timelines, allow you to go to that particular point uh, in your timeline with just a click of a button. Last but not the least, I wanna talk about another keyboard shortcut, function left and right key. So as you can see, if I hit a function right key, what it will do is that it will take me to all the way to the end of the timeline. And when I hit function left key, it will take me to the beginning of the timeline. Now, actually, let me hit the Shift and Z first. So let me zoom out so you can visualize better what it's doing. So as you can see, when I hit function uh, left and right key, it will take me uh, to, it will allow us to get to the beginning and end of the timeline instantly. Now, one thing I want to point out about this shortcut is that let's say you have a timeline like this where you have gaps in between parts of your timeline. Now, if let's say I hit uh, function right key, it will take me all the way to the last video clip, uh, last video in the timeline, which makes sense. But when we hit a function left key, now you will see that it will take us all the way to the beginning of the timeline. And we're talking literally beginning of the timeline, not the first video in the timeline, but the beginning of the, the timeline. So that's one thing I wanna point out, one thing I wanna clarify. Nonetheless, a very helpful keyboard shortcut. So I hope this helps guys and I'll see you next time.